Hi guys. How are you all today morning? Good morning. Today is 20th February 2000 24 my name is t s v raghavan and i live in chennai tamil nadu india this is my spiritual vlog on youtube har dam h a r d a n har dam hari bol t r s v nectar n e c t a r nectar in this particular vlog in all my previous videos we have been trying to study understand analyze and discuss about the knowledge and information that we have gleaned through the study of spiritual books scriptures contemplation on the material universe and meditation on the spiritual universe this particular video in this vlog is no exception to that rule in fact it is a mere continuation of all that we have been trying to do in all my previous videos kindly subscribe to this vlog and press the bell icon so that i may keep reminding you of all my previous present and future videos so let us continue with the topic of a discussion for today's video in the past few videos we have been trying to understand the psyche and mind of every human living entity whether a male or female in a life time in this material world for this we studied the mind the ego destiny karma the three subtle bodies the other factors that play a perennial role in deciding chartering and monitoring the psyche and the intelligence of any particular living entity in a lifetime in this material world in that process we came to realize that at any 
a given time in a lifetime. <coughs> this multitude of society of humanity, both male and female, can be broadly divided into three categories. One is the major 75% category of the mundane trance-like vegetative kind of humanity which goes about its own life Sorry, in, in uh, this lifetime, without any purpose in mind or in hand, they feel that this life is just a gift from destiny to them. And so, they are here only to live through their own predestined karma and enjoy or suffer whatever is thrown to them by their own destiny. I unconditionally apologize for this disturbance caused by my cold and cough that is preventing me from discussing in this video. The second category is of a multitude of 20% of humanity which is different from this vegetative 75% in as much as it understands its purpose in a life. But alas, it sincerely believes that this purpose in life is to wade through the dark negative forces of this material world which have been in existence from times immemorial. It is only the remaining 5% who can be safely called the chosen ones. These chosen ones not only understand their purpose in life, but they decide and are certain about the fact that this purpose is decidedly positive and that this positive purpose may be material, spiritual or both. This is precisely the reason why <coughs> Sorry. there is so much variety and shades of different kinds in a society in a given lifetime in this material world. It is because all the three types of human living entities, both male 
and female have to live together in tandem with each other in this society at any given a life time they cannot escape the influence or other ways from other categories just like the 75% vegetative kind the 20% negative kind and the 5% positive kind also exist in a life time in the society in this material world at any given time yes it is quite possible that they may not come in touch with each other directly but the fact remains that their respective influence on the society reflects in the life and the psyche of other members of the society regardless of which bracket they belong to while discussing about the psyche of humanity we tried to discuss about various case histories which could authenticate the argument that these three brackets or broad brackets do really exist in this society at any given time in a life time similarly it is also a fact for <coughs> that due to their own individual karma and the destiny many of the living entities who otherwise belonged to a different bracket fortunately or unfortunately got entangled with members of the other bracket this connection whether a direct or indirect went on and on in the individual cases or a life time till a moment came when they temporarily or permanently got disentangled from that particular connection in that particular lifetime while discussing several case histories we decided to discuss about the life of one particular antagonist or protagonist called Charles Gurumukh Sobhraj. Even in the case of Charles Gurumukh Sobhraj, we found to our own dismay, curiosity and shock that right from his very birth there were several characters <coughs> who otherwise belonged 
to the mundane 75% vegetative kind of humanity or to the 5% positive kind of humanity but were responsible for this particular protagonist birth just because they suffered from one of the five evils mentioned in Srimad Bhagavad Gita, a segment of the great Hindu epic Mahabharata by the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Krishna, to his best friend and cousin Arjuna. Lord Krishna said or went on a record while mentioning that there are at least five necessary evils that plague any human living entity whether male or female invariably without exception during his or her lifetime. These five evils are karma that is lust, krodha that is anger, lobha that is greed, moha that is illusion and ahankara that is ego. Every human living entity should refrain from dropping his or her guard as far as maintaining or improving his or her character lest one or more of these evils come occupy his or her psyche and make him or her work or behave according to their own whims and fantasies. The father of Charles Gurumukh Sobrak, who was otherwise very talented, dynamic and successful as a businessman, suffered from one such evil called lust. Despite being so good otherwise, he suffered from getting lustily attracted towards the opposite sex, as a result of which this guy kept falling in love with various women and marrying them in that process. This resulted in his marrying one beautiful 18-year-old girl called Noe, who happened to mother none other than this Charles Guru Mukh Sobraj and his younger sister Nikal Sobraj. Second is the case of Noe. Unlike Hotchand Sobraj, who decidedly belonged 
to the positive variety of those with purpose in life. He was just from the 75% bracket of a vegetative kind of human living entities. However, despite this, he suffered from another evil called lobha or greed. It was this greed that forced Noi to marry this Hotchand Shobra who was several years her senior and who was already married and a family which he had back home <coughs> in Pune, Maharashtra, India. This resulted in her giving birth to Charles Shobraj. How prophetic this action of both Hutch and Chopra suffering from lust and Noi suffering from greed would have in the life, mind and psyche of Charles Gurumukh Sobra we are trying to understand in this particular case history. Now we come to the main protagonist or antagonist Charles Gurumukh Sobra. Just like his lust father and a greedy mother, Charles Sobraj suffered from another evil called illusion. Born with a golden spoon in his mouth, he was born vain and with a superior air around him. This tiny child could not understand because of its innocence how was it possible that after living in a palace till yesterday, he was dragged out of that palace by his own mother and dumped, dumped into a gutter when she married a French soldier who was given civilian duties by the French army because of his nervous breakdown. We know by now what happened to a John, the stepfather of Charles Shobra. Now we will try to analyze this particular character called Yon. Yon did not obviously suffer from any of the five necessary evils. He was not lusty, not greedy, not angry, had no illusion and did not suffer from ego. Yet, his life was hopelessly entangled with the life of Charles Gurumukh Sobraj only because he decided to marry 
this noi and become her second husband in that process like a very nice vegetative kind of human living entity this ayo gallantly offered to her to adopt her own two children from hotchand shobra this was a very excellent and noble gesture from the same yo the soldier from french army but this tiny child called charles shobra could not understand the gravity of this situation he only rebelled against his father throwing him his sister and mother out of his own palace and marry the same lady who had till yesterday been a house maid in the same household Charles Hoshobraj innocent brain could not understand this on the other hand his only completely similar biological sister nickel sobraj who had his dna completely turned out to have a very different outlook nickel sobraj father was hotel and mother was noi just like in the case of charles shobra yet unlike his her own rebellious elder brother nickel compromised with a life and decided and decided to settle down to what was thrown at her by destiny this shows that obviously both nickel and charles belonged to two different brackets in this society while nickel was from the decent 75% multitude of society which lived its life according to what destiny bestowed on them this charles obviously got attracted to earth the 20% bracket of dark negative forces anyway after a noi married jo she found to her own frustration that there was no hope of a reconciliation with hotchand shobra in saigon hence noi with her two children left for france for good with the same jean the french soldier to live the rest of her life in france hotchand for the time being was relieved 
of a, this particular development and he thought that everything was a good riddance. This is all I wanted to talk about in this particular case history and this video. Kindly let me know what you think of my talk on this particular subject. Please give me your own expert views, thoughts, ideas and opinions so that I may blend everything together for the sake of this society. Before concluding, let me remind you that I am also a published author with Amazon Kindle and paperback. I write on spiritualism, fiction and assorted subjects. Spiritualism happens to be my favorite subject. Till we meet in my next video, it is good morning from TSV Raghavan.